stickles by Ranger Ink come in hundreds of colors and they are affordable and they add a great touch of glitter and shine to your projects. Many people have tons of them in their stash already and new colors are coming out all the time. In this video, we're going to show you five techniques for using these fun stickles. The best part about stickles is that they come in this tiny little bottle. It's very easy to hand hold them, the cap screws off, and you have a nice thin nozzle. I always keep a piece of scratch paper nearby and a pin just in case sometimes you get more of the glitter stuck up in the nozzle. So if you try to apply pressure to the bottle and nothing comes out, all you have to do is insert your pin down to the bottom and you'll free up the nozzle of any loose glitter in there. But this one is already primed and ready to go. Again, I like to have the scratch paper on the side just to make sure that I'm getting a nice flowing line. So the first technique, obviously, for using stickles is just free writing like this. You can use your own handwriting. You can draw. And you get nice small details with tiny little dots. You can even do stitched lines. This is very simple. Anybody can do this. And you'll see that there is a slightly raised quality to the glue. Another fun, easy technique for using stickles is to cover a die cut word with a color of stickles. This word was die cut with the Silhouette Cameo. You could also use a manual die cutting machine. Once you have your word cut out, all you have to do is cover it up with stickles. And you can see you're basically making your own glitter title with this technique. I used this technique on this layout. Again, this title I cut with the Silhouette Cameo and just applied a thin covering of gold on top of white cardstock. Here, I used a manual die cut machine and cut the same word out several times. And I used a variety of colors. And you can see here I used a slightly thicker coating of the stickles. And it makes it look like a glittered embellishment or title that you've created on your own. This next technique is very popular with stampers and card makers. First, you would stamp an image on a piece of cardstock. This one I stamped and just left on a white piece of cardstock. This one I stamped and then cut out. You can color them with colored pencils or markers. And then you can add glitter accents with your stickles. Again, the nice part about the stickles is that the tip is so fine that you can simply add little details. You don't have to color the whole image in. So for this image, I'm just going in and covering the center of the flowers, just accenting it with a bit of glitter. It's also nice that the stickles are so affordable because you can really buy a whole rainbow of colors and then add different colors to your stamped image. This orange one is especially nice. You can see that the glue itself is tinted. And I've made several cards where I've used this technique. You can see that I didn't simply cover the entire design with stickles, but I accented each of these die cut pieces with just a hint that shows a little bit of sparkle and just adds a fun little touch. A very quick way to alter your wood veneer or raw chipboard is to use stickles. This is an incredibly easy technique but has a very big wow factor. You can see this was a piece of wood veneer that I've covered with gold stickles. 
we're going to do the same thing on this piece of wood veneer. Just apply the stickles in as thick of a coating as you like. If you do use a very heavy hand, you're going to have to give it plenty of time to dry. Otherwise, if you use a thin coating, stickles really dries pretty quickly. You can see that's just such an amazing amount of glitter in one tiny little bottle. We're going to show you exactly how good it looks on raw chipboard as well. This technique can save you a ton of money. The stickles themselves are very affordable, so if you have a set of raw chipboard like this, you can color them any color of stickles that you have in your stash. They're always coming out with new colors, and then you coordinate them with your layouts. And I've done that here. Again, gold is so hot right now, so I covered the wood veneer butterfly in gold. I just love how much it sparkles. And then here, I did both the wood veneer geotag sign, and I did a very light coating on this raw chipboard. It gives it almost a distressed look to see some of the raw chipboard through the glitter, and I really like both looks. In this final technique, we're going to use templates or stencils. Here, I've used the Crafters Workshop mini template. It's a hot air balloon and I simply placed it over a piece of cardstock and filled it in with various colors of stickles. Then I also outlined it with black to make it show up even more. There's another type of template that is by Prima and these are called pinwheel stencils and basically you're going to put a petal underneath the stencil and then fill it in with stickles and you can see I've done that here. So I'm just going to show you how easy it is to do this technique. You're going to insert your petal underneath. You choose the type of design you want by rotating this top wheel. So if we want the checkers, we're going to put the petal down on the paper and cover it up with the template. Line it up and then hold it down on the edge and start to fill in the open spaces with your stickles. Once you're done filling in all the open spaces, you're going to carefully lift it away. Sometimes the petal will stick because it is glue that you're using, so just carefully remove it. And you'll see your petal has a nice glittery design on it. This technique, you probably want to use a good amount of glitter glue so that you can really see the design and you can even feel that it has a different texture to it. For a quick little bonus technique, I'm gonna show you how to make your own little glitter dots. All you need are some glue dots. I'm using the ThermaWeb large glue dots, but you can use tiny ones too. And you're going to, on top of the glue dot, apply your stickles right to the edge of the dot. You can do this as thick as you want. Since the glue dots are clear, you're not gonna see any color coming through from the adhesive. Once the dots are dry, you're going to pull them off the backing and adhere them to your project because it already has the glue dot adhesive on the back. 